Your Highness and Excellencies, 2019 is indeed a very special year. In this year, the OIC is celebrating its Golden Jubilee, the United Arab Emirates is celebrating Year of Tolerance, and India is celebrating the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, a global symbol of truth and non-violence. We are also seeing the human and economic cause of climate change. And we are witnessing the terrible daily destruction in senseless terrorist violence. It is destroying lives, destabilizing regions, and putting the world at great peril. The reach of terror is growing. Its lethality is increasing. And the toll it is taking is rising. In the rich diversity of Southeast Asia, in West Asia and the Gulf, in North Africa and Sahel region, in Europe and North America, in Afghanistan, Bangladesh and India, we see the terrible face of terror. Excellencies and Your Highness, terrorism and extremism bear different names and labels. It uses diverse causes, but in each case, it is driven by distortion of religion and a misguided belief in its power to succeed. The fight against terrorism is not a confrontation against any religion. It cannot be. Just as Islam literally means peace, none of the 99 names of Allah mean violence. Similarly, every region in the world stands for peace, compassion, and brotherhood. There is a verse in the Holy Quran which says, La ikra fi ad-deen. Let there be no compulsion in religion. There is another surah, Al-Hajurat, which says, O mankind, we created you from a single pair of male and female and made you into nations and tribes so that you may know one another, not that you may despise one another. Similarly, the same message was given by the founder, Guru of Sikhism, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, when he says, and I quote, Abwal Allah noor upaya, kudrat ke sab bande, Ek noor te sab jagupjya, koan pale ko mande. This means, first Allah created light. Then, by his creative power, he made all mortal beings. From that one light, the entire world came into being. So who is good and who is bad? Your Highness and Excellencies, India has always embraced and found it easy to embrace pluralism, since it is embedded in the oldest Sanskrit religious text, the Rig Veda. And I quote, Ekam Sadvipra Bahuda Vadanti, which means God is one, but learned men describe him in many ways. Our great philosopher Swami Vivekanand said that this phrase from the Rig Veda has given the theme to all subsequent thoughts to India, and one that will be the theme of the whole world of religions. Your Highness and Excellencies, this is not a clash of civilizations or cultures but a contest of ideas and ideals. As Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has often said, it is a struggle between the values of humanism and the forces of inhumanity. Your Highness and Excellencies, if we want to save the humanity, then we must tell the states who provide shelter and funding to the terrorists to dismantle the infrastructure of their terrorist camps and stop providing funding and shelter to the terror organizations based in that country. At the same time, I would like to say that this menace cannot be fought only through military, intelligence, or diplomatic means. It is also a battle that must be won through the strength of our values and the real message of religions. This is a task that states, societies, sages, scholars, spiritual leaders, and families must pursue through personal context and on social media. And for this, faiths must speak to faiths. Cultures must engage with cultures. Communities must build bridges, not erect walls. The youth must shape the future, not destroy lives. 